Hello and welcome to the Tim Property Software Demo. We'd like to show you how to create inventory, check-in, midterm and check-out reports using Android smartphones or this, the Samsung Galaxy 7-inch pad. Tim will also be available at the end of this month, April, on the iPhone and iPad. Okay, let me uh, show you around the software. Okay, so we click on new and choose the type of report we want to complete. Uh, in the address details, I'll just put something in here to get us through to the next. And prepared by. That's me, Tim the Clark. Okay, now it's asking for property details. Is the property occupied, furnished, type of property? Now here I can take a photo of the front and the rear of the property, which will embed into the report. Okay, now it's asking about the utilities. Is the meter accessible? Yes. Supplier list. If the supply is not in there, you can type it in and add to the dictionary. Now here I can also take a photo of the meter reading, which will embed straight into the report. Now let's have a look at another option. Is the meter accessible? We'll say no. Non-inspection reason. So we have these options here. Meter cupboard is locked. Click save. Okay. Now I'm going to add some rooms. Now these are all, this is our rooms list, it's all in alphabetical order. So we'll add a bathroom, three bedrooms, a dining room, and uh, a lounge. Once we've added the rooms, we click save. Now if I want to change the order of those rooms, I click on the menu tab down here, room order, I want to move the lounge further up into the report, click save. It's now up there. I'll show you that again. Room order. I'd like the dining room uh, near the lounge. Let's move that down. Click save. So we can change the room order. There's some of the settings here which I'll, I'll, I'll show you a little later actually. Okay. Now this is our menu here. We add items using this box. Now, these boxes, this is your main menu. So we'll click on Decor. Now, our type box, we have these drop downs in there. Ceiling. Now from here, these boxes are all fully customizable. So we have a white painted ceiling here with Colvin, which isn't in the drop down list. So I'll type it in. Okay, now once I click save, it's now asking me to add it to the dictionary for future use. So I, I'd like to do that. Um, let's have a look at the walls, what we have in here. Really, it's just showing you how these boxes are populated and how you can bespoke them. Now, the, painted, the walls are painted here, cream, with, they're in good condition, no scuffs or marks. I want to add the colour, which is cream. Click save. Okay. Now then, we've got skirting boards and dado in here. And we've also got the flooring. This is carpet. It's nearly new. Again, carpet, nearly new, no marks and not worn. The colour is cream, again, I'm afraid. We click save. Okay, so this is how we start to build the report. Once these boxes have got the items that you frequently use in them, fixtures and fittings, it can become this easy to use. So now we're going to go into lighting. We've got a chandelier in here. So we've got a ceiling mounted chandelier. It's black. It's all right. I did the wrong one there. We'll just delete that. 
Okay, let's try again. Ceiling mounted chandelier. There's one of them. It's black. And it's it's nearly new. As new. Click save. Okay. Now then, let's have a look at some furniture items. So in this box, lounge furniture. Again, this is all fully customizable. So in this room, we've got two two-seater fabric settees. Fabric two-seat uh, uh, sofa quantity. There's two of them. They're a light green, which we have in there. Uh, condition, they're in good condition. Click save. Um, we've also got in this room a chaise long. Fabric chaise. We have a, a, a television. which is there and we've also got uh, a mirror and some paintings okay so I've not got a mirror in there so I'm going to type that in uh, so we have a uh, silver mirror and I also want to add the paintings there's three of those Okay, now let me show you how the camera works here. So I now want to take a photo. Okay, if we can just do this very carefully, there's one of the paintings. It's now asking me if I want to save or discard. I'll save that photo. Now that'll embed lounge furniture paintings one that will embed straight into the report okay so in these boxes down here we've got our conditions box again fully customizable along with our extent of damage now uh, new to Tim is our new notes box now here in this box we can type up to 200 characters letters which we can then add to a new dictionary so these are some of the notes that we've added here. Let me show you. Uh, we've got this one. Let's take that out. Um, so we can, once we've added these new comments and notes, type them in once, click add to dictionary, and they'll always be saved in there for future use. And this will save up to 200 characters, as, as we said. Now, let me show you um, how I can copy the room data. So, we've added um, items and conditions into the lounge. Uh, I've then gone into the dining room, and a lot of the items are the same. So, I want to copy that over from the lounge to the dining room. So, I've clicked on Copy, Choose Dining Room, Go... Now these are the items that I've added uh, from the lounge. So the ceiling, flooring and walls are all the same. The lighting's different. Untick the box. So I'm going to copy over what is the same. That's it. It's added. I go into the main menu, go back into dining room, add items, fixtures and fittings, lighting. Uh, it's a ceiling mounted single light quantity one save that's it all of the information has now been added into the dining room that room is now done as well okay let's show you next um, login details we've got some settings here um, when you uh, have, have um, emailed us for about the about the free 14 day trial when we send you a password your username goes in here and you create your own password which goes there dictionary I'd like to show you this now uh, we saw before how the dictionary can be added to as you're typing things in um, while you're in the property the other way to look at this is uh, this is our colors list I don't think I'm gonna use Jade a lot so delete it I don't think I'm gonna use blue a lot so delete it I want to add colors in 
I'll put the blue back in, click save. And there's my blue. So you can delete the entire dictionary and bespoke it by these two functions here. Okay, well, once, we're, once the report's been completed, you can review the report. We can go into the dining room. Here's the items that we've added here. I want to check the walls. Right, painted walls, no scuff zone marks. So I can review all of the items that I've put in. Go into the main menu. Now, when you finish the report, if you want to add a schedule of the condition of the property, click on there. List, uh, let's have a look in the bathroom. We're gonna say that it's uh, clean and tidy. Click save. Uh, the kitchen. Clean to a professional standard, save. So this is a summary of the report that you've just created. Um, the gardens, well maintained and tidy. And save. If we wanna change the order there, we can do. Okay, so when the report has been completed, we then want to send it across to the TIM servers. If we want the tenant to sign on the report, they can do that right here. And then we press complete. Now the report's being sent across to, to us. It's arrived. Would you like to save a local copy that's on the device? We'll say yes. That's it, your report is done and ready. Um, for you now to log on to the TIM website, access your um, secure account, edit the report on your online on your PC and then download it. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this and we look forward to you uh, contacting us to set up your 14-day free trial. Thanks for listening. Bye.